Hey guys, what's up? It's Randy here from Voices and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be covering audio interfaces. What are they? How do they work? Are they necessary? And how to get one set up on your computer. Let's get right to it. Audio interfaces have two main functions. Number one, they boost the output volume of your microphone. And number two, they turn the analog signal that your microphone outputs into a digital signal that your computer can understand. Just about all microphones are great at picking up subtleties these days, but they actually output a shockingly low volume. So you need a device called a preamp in order to get that volume up to a nice loud level. The signal will go from a preamp into a converter, and without getting into too many details, it's basically turning the electrical signal from your mic into a binary signal that your computer can understand. Interfaces actually do both of these jobs. They have a preamp and a converter built right in. And you can usually recognize the preamp because it has something called gain or level on the front of the box. Well, if you've ever used a Blue Yeti or another USB microphone, you might be asking, why don't USB microphones have preamps? Well, they actually do. They have converters and preamps. They're just built right into the microphone. A general rule of thumb, if you're using a USB cable, it's a digital signal, so it's already been converted. That's really the only difference between a USB microphone and a more professional XLR style microphone. Of course, the better the mic, the better the componentry, but functionally speaking, that's the only difference. A USB mic, it has the preamp and the converter built right into it. So that's great, right? Well, not entirely, there is a catch. Having all this great tech combined into one unit, while it's convenient, it does actually have some limitations. One problem with USB microphones is that because they're combined into one small little package, all of the electrical components inside tend to talk to each other or creating basically unwanted electrical noise in your audio signal. Generally speaking, XLR microphones and interfaces, they tend to offer a bit more flexibility and quality than a USB style microphone. However, USB mic can be a bit more convenient. Okay, the rant's over. What mics are you guys using in your studios? We're always interested to hear what you guys are using and what's popular in the community. So throw it in the comments below. And if you leave a like while you're down there, it'll help other people find the video. Okay, let's plug this interface into our computer. Now that's it, it's really that simple. Now we just need to tell our software that we use what microphone we have plugged in and not to use the internal microphone built into the computer. Most computers will default to the internal mic, so you wanna make sure that you don't miss this step. Without doing this, you'll have a lot of great gear plugged into your computer that's doing absolutely nothing. In Audacity, you can change your mic source like this. In GarageBand, it's right here. In Pro Tools, it's right here. And in Audition, it's right here. If you're using another workstation, a simple Google search should figure that out for you. Now let's go ahead and add phantom power if you're using a condenser microphone like I am. So that's this plus 48 volts here. Dynamic mics won't need this and we'll also enable our track. And just like that, you can see that audio is getting into our computer. So let's do a quick check to make sure that we're sourcing from the microphone that I have plugged in and not the internal mic. The best way to do this is to scratch the microphone. And I do the scratch test because it makes a sound that only this mic is gonna pick up and it makes it much easier to tell which one is on. And that's about it for interfaces. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you wanna learn some more things about setting up your home studio, you can click up here. As always, happy auditioning. We'll see you in the next one.